Hello once again. This time I'm promoting my novel. Let me see if I can get this in the right place. This is called Henry's Secrets. Okay. Now, I want you to look at the cover for a minute. See the man and the woman and the people in the background. I designed that. What I'm going to talk about is not so much the book. However, before I talk about creative self, I want you to know that this book is a whodunit novel. I channeled it. In the beginning, I thought I'd just write a love story. And as I wrote, we, Spirit and Oneness and myself, wrote more and more until I had so many characters, I thought, where's this going? And ultimately it wound up and it came together very well. And people who've read it say they enjoy it. And if you'd like to read a novel, this is also an e-book, so you can download it and read it while you're traveling. Henry's Secrets, all right? But what I'm really wanting to talk about is your creativity, all right? I'm gonna put it down. There are so many people who come to me all the time and they say, I want to write a book. Uh, I want to do some painting, I, I, I want to make something, but I don't know how to do it. I, I, I think about it, I have ideas, but I can't get started. And then they start to judge themselves. They start to say, hey, you know, I'm looking at someone else's book, or I'm looking at someone else's work that they've done, and I say to myself, I, can, I can't do that. I, I can never do that. You know, it's, it's too amazing. I don't have that kind of thing in me. And you saw what I just did. I went like that, right? That's a hypnotic moment. And in that moment, they're telling themselves and they open their eyes wide like that. Oh, I can't do it. You also see people who say, wow, I wish I could do that. And the person says, well, you can. And they go, really? Okay. Now, in that moment, you've given yourself a message. You've either told yourself you can do it, or you've told yourself you can't. Now, I was very lucky because my parents brought me up with the attitude that a young lady should be able to do everything. So I was given dance classes, singing classes, I even did fencing one day. And whatever I did, I always was congratulated on my efforts. Now, it didn't mean that I wasn't told sometimes that I could improve. Of course, we need to improve. But it's very important that we're told how good we are first. And then afterwards, now you've done that so well, but maybe next time you can add this and this advice, and then you'll be even better. I know when I was very young, and I was in school, and I was in my English class, my teacher used to get my homework and put terrible red lines all the way through it and write great big words all across, bad English, you'll never write anything, and so on. And I, I used to think, that's so unfair, you know, I, I can't write. And as a result, I did take my English language exams and I, I didn't do well, I failed. And it was like, oh God, I'm even worse than I ever thought I was before. That's literally what I said to myself. And I prayed to God and said, God, help me. Help me be better. And eventually, after many efforts, I did pass that exam. But I still had in my mind in here that I couldn't write. And as life has ways of showing you what to do, I got out there in the world as a very young medium at 21 or 2 years old and by the time I was in my 30s I was pretty well known in England. In those days one had to be a medium and prove survival of life after death. And during that time people asked me to teach them how to do that and so I began my life as a teacher a teacher of psychic development and alternative medicine. And by the time I was 40, people were saying, you, we keep asking you to write a book and you don't, and we want to know all this information that you have to share. Please write a book. And I would say, I, I'm not a writer. 
I can't write. I failed my English language. I'm not very good. Well, eventually I ended up in America and I did lots of expos and things and everyone was saying, you have to have a book. You have to have a book. So finally, I sat down and I said to my spirit guides, I've got to write a book. And as a result, I wrote a book called The Way to Oneness, which I'm currently rewriting, so you can't get it yet unless you contact me personally. It's a book on everything from In the Beginning Was the Word through what we are all about, why we live, the involvement of the Spirit, and all the way back into the higher and lower parts of God's self. So it's a very, very deep book. Now, this is the first book I ever wrote, and you can imagine how strange I felt sitting on my bed, writing and writing and writing by hand, all the words that were flowing through my mind that were coming from my spirit guides. And once I'd done it, then it had to be tight. And then when it was tight, I had to get on a plane and go to the biggest book fair in the world, in Frankfurt, Germany, with this great big thick like this manuscript and I got there and I thought well you know I'm full of positive energy because spirit guides told me to do this and I talked to many British people and it wasn't until the end that I spoke to a German man and they took that book and published it in Germany and guess what it was the first book to go into East Berlin when the wall came down that would teach those people all about metaphysics. Wasn't that a wow? Well, over the years, I've been producing it myself and sharing it with my students. And I'm currently updating it, because I've learned more since then, and I'm going to be publishing that in the future. So coming back to you, I'm a little model for you. If I can write all these books, because I was told I couldn't, and I've proved I can. What can you do? How many times have you told yourself you can't be creative? I'd like to inspire you to start to think about turning inward to yourself, to your heart, to your joy, and bring out the pleasures of whatever it is you have inside you. Now, whether it's design a dress or come up with some program on the computer or just simply stand up and share some insights and knowledge you've come up with through your life and become a teacher, do it. It's all part of your creativity. It's all part of what you're meant to do. And while you're about it, if you'd like to buy my book, Henry Secrets, and have some fun and find out what I can do that way, then please do. There are lots of things that we can do. I actually have written three screenplays as well. I came so close so many times with some big names to actually going into production, but it never actually happened. I'm still waiting for whoever it is to come into my life and make the movies. One is called, um, let me think, I have to stop. I wasn't thinking about that. But one is called, um, I guess I'm not meant to share it with you. I'm going to leave you wondering. Okay, so until we meet again, take care and enjoy. And I hope you'll come and listen to some of my radio shows, Journey into an Unknown World, on Web Talk Radio too. Bye.